Hello folks, thanks for taking a look at my uh, video today. Uh, in today's topic, we're going to be actually looking at some of the things that the, the customers can do for themselves, uh, and this is specifically through the GTAC website. Uh, what I'm talking about is things like licensing, uh, even specifics like home use license. I'll show you how to create a license file for, uh, for every seat of solid edge you have. On uh, maintenance, uh, there's a home use license available, so let's take a look at how to get to some of that. All right, so what I'm going to do is just a Google search for uh, GTAC, so GTAC. So just do a search for those acronyms. Uh, if you're lucky like me, you'll get the first search, which would be the Siemens PLM uh, support. It's a big, long title here, but it's basically Siemens support site. So once we're there, let's take a look at some of the options that you can uh, let's uh, look at the things you can actually get to and access. All right, so uh, basically... If you have an issue with Solid Edge, if you have a crash or a problem that uh, you can't figure out, uh, you got to let somebody know. So as a reseller, I uh, tell the customers uh, that I support, call me first. 90% uh, of the time, I can either figure out what's going on or uh, figure out a workaround in the meantime while it's getting fixed and maybe a service pack. Uh, so please call us. But uh, for those who uh, don't have that opportunity or don't know, uh, their reseller. Uh, well, you can go ahead and create a uh, log yourself, but you notice you require a password and login. All right, so how is this attained? All right, so it's going to uh, have you create a, or what you're going to have to do is create a web key account. All right, so as I go in here, if I don't have the password, I come down here to new users, register for an account. All right, and what you want to do is just create an account, and the type of account you want to create is just a Siemens PLM standard web free creation. All right, so now it's asking me for a sole to ID and a web access code. All right, so where, where do you get these? All right, simple enough. All right, a couple places you can activate or access these from uh, is through Solid Edge, or if you just know where the license file is, you can actually go to the license file. So if you just want to go to the license file, it, it's typically stored under uh, Solid Edge and then Solid Edge SD8 folder under Preferences. If you do a search for uh, type, sort for type, you're looking for a, a, DAT, a DAT file, D-A-T, and there's your Solid Edge license DAT file. Right, so that's one way to open it up. All right, if you uh, want to look through it through Solid Edge, you can come over to um, the help on this side, learn at Solid Edge. If you hover over this, you get this little pop-up window and you get this about solid edge little title you click there and it'll bring up the information in your license file uh, and it'll also have your information like your sole to id and your web access code so these are information that's tied to your specific account so they're going to be different for everybody but it's one account for the entire company so if you have eight seats of solid edge uh, you have one app you typically one uh sole to id that covers all those eight seats all right, so those are the two information that is required here in the uh, to create an account. So once you do that, you plug in uh, your information, continue. You just fill out your name, address, etc., uh, and they have you stored in the system. So then you're allowed to log in. So let's go back into the login. Right, so let me go ahead and log in. So once you're logged in, this gives you access to uh, a lot of the different sites in the Siemens PLM world. Uh, but what we, what we did here, again, is if we're requesting technical support, uh, this is what I would fill out for the customer. I'd get their sole to ID, fill it out, uh, then log an issue with Siemens. And they create an IR, and it's typically emailed to the uh, customer and to the, the, the your rep. Uh, that way you can track it, uh, see where it's at in the uh, cycle of either it's in this getting it fixed in the maintenance pack or perhaps an extra release. All right, let's go back to the GTAC site. Go back to the home page here. All right, so that's creating a report. Uh, some of the stuff that you can also look for, maybe you're the IT guy or the IT guy comes to you as a manager saying, hey, how do I load the maintenance or the solid edge license manager? All you have to do is go to the, the second tab, documentation, scroll down to your tool, solid edge. And inside of Solid Edge, you have everything back to, looks like V20 down here. 
all the way up to ST8. So for example, if you're looking for maybe the uh, licensing tools. So here's the Solid, Ed Solid Edge ST8 PDF. Takes you to, uh, it's a 32 page PDF that walks you through how to load a floating license or node lock license, etc. Alright, so all the documentation is there on standard parts uh, and a lot of good information. So let's move on down. Solution Center. Alright. This takes you to a location where you can actually search for information on perhaps a problem that you're having or if you're just looking for some documentation. Uh, let's say uh, I'm using ST8 and oops, ST8 and my viewer is crashing all the time. So viewer crashing. So let's just search for that. See what kind of information we get. Um, so we have three little tags here. Uh, solid edge crashing during opening of an assembly file. So let's take a look at what's inside there. Kind of gives you information about uh, what was the cause of it. Uh, it looks like this one solution was going to be fixed in solid edge ST8 MP5. All right, so the maintenance pack 5 evidently fixed that crashing in the viewer. All right, so MP5, what are we talking about here? All right, MP5 is maintenance pack 5, so it's a service pack. Uh, and again, you can access that through this website, through the download and upload. All right, so right here, download and upload files. All right, so... Click the download and let's see what we have available. So it gives you a filter of what's available to you. Uh, some people may have NX and Solid Edge, so they'll have different tabs for different software. Uh, what we're different, dealing with specifically Solid Edge, so what we can do here is look for uh, what we have is two tabs: full product up, full product, and product updates. All right. So under full product, you would basically get everything. <laughs> Solid Edge has offer, uh, you know, the, the license manager, uh, insights, uh, document management, text, and full version of Solid Edge. It's, uh, you know, it's almost a four gigabyte download, uh, so it's a, it's a pretty good size file. And for those who want to get a home use license and don't, they don't have a copy from the license at work, again, you can get that information to create a login. Uh, just go into um, create an account. Go in here, download SC8, and then you can make that a home use license. I'll show you how to do that here sh shortly. All right, so what we're looking for is product updates. And again, SC8. It's the current version. Uh, maintenance packs. And this has all the maintenance packs in here. You don't have to get every single one and load them. All you have to do is get the last one. It's cum cumulative of all the other ones. And if I expand this out, you notice there's a few options in here. So if you're a customer using document management that's built in, in Solid Edge, it's called Insight, you can download the maintenance pack through here. Uh, if you're just loading uh, or you're just running standalone Solid Edge, the uh, MP6 uh, files right here. It's the uh, MSI MP6 EXE. Uh, this one is, you know, 300 uh, megabytes. So it's, it's a pretty good file. So that's why they don't automatically go out. And if you ever log an issue, uh, the first thing your uh, reseller or Siemens would tell you is what maintenance pack are you running. If you're not running the most current maintenance pack, that's what they'll recommend doing. Go ahead and download that, install it, check if it fixes the issue. If it doesn't, call me back. So, all right, just to save you a little time, go ahead and always make sure that you always get the most maintenance, current maintenance pack. And you can do that right through here. All right, so let's get back to the other page. I was talking about licensing. All right. So under license management. All right, so a couple tabs here. Common toolkits, if I expand this out, uh, you get an option to do, download what they call a CID utility for Solid Edge. All right, this would allow you to go and uh, say you have a workstation at home that you want to load Solid Edge on uh, with a home use license. You'll need a specific number off that machine and you can download this little utility and it's going to give you a 12 digit code uh, you know, this is specifically if a, a company has an IT department that's going to get these files for you, which they can, or, you know, as a logged in user, you can get them yourself if that's what the company allows. Uh, but this is the utility you would use to get that 12 digit code to give to your IT or either to plug into the license file that creates a node lock license for your home use. So you may be using a floating license at the office where it's loaded on multiple computers. 
uh, maybe you only have four seats, but it can load it 12 times and only four people can access them at a time. And that's all coming from the server. Uh, you know, if it's no lock, it's tied to a specific computer and only that computer can access that super solid edge. So that's the kind of license you would get for a home use license. All right, so let's get back out to the license portion. And we go in here and show you how to access where you want to create the home use license. So again, it's going to ask you for a login. Create the login if you don't have one. Uh, and you want to go to passwords and license files. All right, and uh, tell it what version you want. If you have an older version, you can always scroll down to it. Uh, maybe you uh, want to, maybe 107. That's what your company uses. So. Uh, if you want to get a newer version, you can always download it and use a newer version at home and still have, uh, you know, be using the old version at work. But all you have to do is say, I want to add home license, continue, and then it's going to prompt you through the access to, uh, so this is just giving us our company's information, uh, location. It would just do the same thing for you. You'd say, here's our company, here's our, uh, uh, sold to ID. We have so many seats available as a home use. You check one of those licenses in the list, say create license with that CID number, and uh, you can go ahead and save it to your machine or uh, click email, I believe is an option, to get an email to you. Uh, so that's all you have to do to uh, create a home use license. All right, some other information uh, that you can get from here is uh, Perhaps, uh, let's see, what was I looking for? Oh, service, PLM community, here we go. So if you expand this out, this takes you to a Siemens uh, kind of a web community where you, uh, there's blogs, there's all kinds of information on uh, Solid Edge products, Siemens NX Simulation, NX Cam, uh, a lot of uh, cool information. If you're looking for specific Solid Edge information, all you have to do, you can actually access that all, all through Solid Edge. So let me go ahead and close this out. All right, and for those, uh, just a little tip here, for those who don't have their learning on the sidebar, if this happens to be closed out, or, or unpinned, excuse me, unpinned, it'll actually pop up here as a little purple book. But if that's pinned, it'll be on your sidebar. And that book will be turned off. All right, just to let you know that. All right, so the information I was talking about uh, again, the community. So we have a tab down here for for the community, and it'll take you out to the specific Solid Edge user community. All right, these is a location where you can uh, create an account, and you can request, uh, you can ask questions or uh, post some of your stuff that you're doing out here. So there's a whole list of uh, different articles and some. Uh, people that actually do a lot of the stuff on the community that answer a lot of questions here. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, there's also the, uh, again, the support tab will actually take you out to where we just actually went to the GTAC site. Uh, so again, you can access that directly through Solid Edge. And uh, just the one last thing, just under the news tab, it'll like, take you out. If you are on Facebook, you can go ahead and create a log into the Facebook and actually have a link to uh, a lot of this Solid Edge through their Facebook page. And uh, that uh, that about wraps it up about what we can do with the actual Solid Edge uh, Siemens GTAC uh, location. Uh, a lot of things you can download and check. And uh, let us know if you have any more uh, questions or if you have any blog requests to uh, see. All right. Thanks again, folks.